Tonight we are reporting on the fourth apparent murder-suicide in the greater Houston area in just one week's time. This most recent tragedy in Sugarland. Investigators believe a husband shot his wife and then turned the gun on himself at their home on Pendergrass Trail in the Telfair community. Our Brittany Jeffers is joining us live from that neighborhood where the couple's bodies were discovered this morning. Brittany? Bill, Sugarland police tell me that there isn't any record of any 911 calls to this home, but even still, they say when they arrived here early this morning, they say the woman's body was found in her driveway. They say her husband was also found dead upstairs with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It was very shocking. Very shocking. At 5.44 a.m., Lou Lay's surveillance camera shows Sugarland police pull up to his neighbor's house. There, they found Shanti Necroconti in the driveway, dead from a gunshot wound to the head. Police found her husband, Srinivas, in the bedroom with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the chest. Sugarland police say they believe the husband called 911 and then sent an email to several friends before killing himself. We are really shocked what went inside. This, the fourth deadly domestic violence case in a week in the Houston area. As we reported, in Polk County, a man accused of killing his four family members before killing himself. And in Pearland, three people died in a murder-suicide. Police say a shooting at Memorial Park Dunkin' Donuts was a domestic violence-related murder-suicide. The family of Melina Lopez, the woman killed, now has a GoFundMe page for her three children. In January, Channel 2 Investigates found 20% of all homicides committed in the city of Houston in 2018 were domestic violence related. Last October, the Harris County DA's office began an outreach program for victims, which has caseworkers meet with victims at different neighborhood-based organizations. As a result of the effort, the number of domestic violence related cases filed by the DA's office climbed from 8,699 in 2017 to 12,236 in 2018. In Sugarland, the neighbors here are in disbelief. A crime scene took over what they thought was a quiet home. They presented as a happy family. Now, police also say that the couple's 16-year-old daughter was inside of the home at the time of the shooting. They say right now she's in the care and custody of friends. Live here tonight in Sugarland, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.